The sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve is the longest and thickest nerve in the body. This major nerve extends from the lower end of the spinal cord and runs all the way down the leg. It is made up of five root nerves which connect to the spine. Two of these nerves connect with the lumbar spine and three to the sacrum. These nerves are on each side of the body and runs through the hip and buttocks, down the back of the thigh, down the leg, ending just below the knee. From there, the sciatic nerve then branches out into other nerves, which continue down to the lower leg and foot. These two nerves are called the tibial and the perennial. The sciatic nerve is also in close proximity of the piriformis muscle. The piriformis is a muscle found at the back of the hip in the gluteal region, which is embedded deep in the gluteus maximus. This muscle is very important for the rotation of the hip and leg. In some people, the sciatic nerve even runs through this muscle. Because the sciatic nerve extends to much of the lower region of the body, it is quite often a source of pain. When a sciatic nerve pain occurs, it is called a sciatica. This usually occurs when the nerve is pinched in some way, and this pain can stem from anywhere along the nerve's journey. This pain can be really excruciating, like a burning sensation that shoots up the leg and into the lower back. This pain can be caused from a number of factors, such as bad posture, a ruptured disc, the narrowing of the spinal canal, piriformis syndrome, where there is irritation caused by the piriformis muscle, the sciatica usually only affects one side of the body, but the difficulty is always identifying where the root of the problem is, as the pain can be caused from anywhere along the nerve's pathway. Trying to pinpoint where the exact pain is coming from is key, as most often the body signals that there is a problem by causing pain in the lower back. We need to figure out why and what is irritating the sciatic nerve in order to fix the main problem. You may be experiencing lower back pain, but the true cause may be something involved with the foot, or the leg, or the hip. Stretching out may help to relieve the overall pain, but figuring out where the pain stems is vital. And if this pain persists, you should go and seek further help from a physiotherapist or chiropractor to help you get to the root of the pain. As dancers, this nerve is important as it affects the flexibility in the body. With so much physical exertion, we sometimes overwork the body. And by understanding how the body works and what causes pain can better help guard us from further injury. Ways to help reduce the sciatic nerve pain is by rolling and stretching the backs of our legs, helping improving the nerve pathways, massage, focus on improving your posture, core and back strengthening exercises, focus on strengthening and stretching spinal exercises to ensure a healthy spine. I myself have experienced sciatic pain many times over in my dance life and by understanding it and trying to trace its root cause has led me to more focus on strengthening those areas that affect me the most and in so doing has helped me guard against further injury. By learning about sciatic pain and understanding how it can affect more than one area in the body can better prepare us in working on self-maintenance and keeping ourselves strong and healthy.